Ordnance Factory Embers RA has dispatched the first consignment of the export order of 155mm M107 shell. Bharat Dynamics is in talks with Israeli firm Rafael Advanced Defense Systems to locally manufacture the Tobaster next generation torpedo decoys for the Indian Navy. Turkey's Khan 5th generation stealth fighter jet completed its second flight test today. It reached 10,000 feet within 14 minutes of its second flight, reaching a speed of 426 km per hour. The Indian Coast Guard has ordered 10 units of 30mm CRN-91 cannons from Armored Vehicles Nigam Limited. Yantra India Limited has strategically scaled up its production of 155mm shells to cater to the rising demands of international buyers. Hindustan Aeronautics is set to test a new obstacle avoidance system for its Prachand light combat helicopter, that will provide a crucial safety upgrade for pilots during low-level flight maneuvers. With the number of Indian tourists visiting Maldives has decreased rapidly, Maldives Tourism Minister has urged Indians to contribute to the country's economy which is dependent on tourism. The German government is expected to take up a stake in submarine manufacturer to encrypt marine systems, which is a front-runner in India's Project 75 by tender. The DRDO and HAL will establish an indigenous climate chamber test facility for fighter jets, that will be a game-changer for India's domestic fighter jet development. Climate chambers can simulate a wide range of weather conditions, from scorching deserts to frigid high altitudes, and the facility will eliminate the need for time-consuming and expensive relocation of fighter jets in geographically diverse locations for testing. Faster testing will result in quicker development cycles, and earlier deployment of advanced fighter jets for the Indian Air Force. The Rio Aerospace Industries is set to develop a single-seat variant of its F-A-50 light combat aircraft, and this single-seat F-A-50 is poised to enter a competitive landscape against the Indian Tejas aircraft. Several countries are seeking the capabilities of a full-sized fighter jet without the high acquisition and operational costs, and Korea wants to capture a significant share of this growing market segment. Lockheed Martin is actively pushing its F-21 aircraft under the MRFA program, saying that its advanced APG-83 ACE radar boasts impressive detection ranges and target tracking capabilities, however, experts have questioned whether Lockheed Martin will provide source code of the radar system so that it can be integrated with Indian weapons systems. Critics have also pointed out the lack of substantial upgrades in other crucial areas, such as 50-year-old airframe and engine matrix, which even failed to meet technical runs of the previous MRCA tender. The DRDO has issued tenders for the manufacturing integration testing and supply of humanoid upper-body robotic systems, which suggests that the DRDO is actively pursuing the creation of robotic soldiers for the Indian Army. These humanoid upper-body systems could potentially be integrated onto existing platforms, or could serve as the foundation for the development of fully autonomous combat robots, as several nations including the United States, China and Russia are actively developing various forms of military robotics. Today's Top 3 Comments 